can see the stars um, at the bottom, which basically indicate the actual quality that you can expect in terms of tracking and detection. Also, the estimation has improved dramatically in terms of speed, so the feedback is now almost instant. And what Toby now already did is he put uh, just by drag and drop uh, a website connection to the first page, and you can like. Uh, for example, move it around, you can enlarge it if you want to, uh, you can even delete it, so it's basically drag and drop and what you see is what you get. So the first page is just a website connection. On the second page, for example, we put an interactive button. Gmail button, for example. And we can connect this button to a website, for example, and say, hey, when the user clicks this button, we will forward him to the Gmail website to actually download this application. Okay, on the third page we add some video content, so we just drag and drop the YouTube resource on it, it asks us for the YouTube ID, and off you go. So we've got now YouTube on it. But we have even more. Of course you can add 3D content as well, and that's what we will do with the last page. I guess you might have seen this guy, that's the famous Mateo man, and as you can see it's a 3D object and you can just move it around and rotate it as you want to. But with 3D objects, usually it's better to work in actual 3D mode. So you can switch now to a 45 degree view and align, rotate, and scale this guy as you want to. And if you really want to go 3D and change the view, you can also do so. And that's what Toby is trying to show. Okay, and once this is done, the only thing you have to do is basically upload or preview and then actually show you that it really works what we've just created. We go back to our mirror device and um, go to scan mode and we've just created this channel so we have prepared the QR code for it and <laughs> it already happened. <laughs> so the first page we wanted to have the Mateo website and off you go, Toby is trying it again as you can see. That's the first page, we added the Mateo website to it and it works instantly. Okay, or oh, what happens again? Uh, second page was, what was it? Button. And there you go, that's the button we just added to the page. You press it and it directly connects you to the page you entered, which was Juneo. So that worked as well. Um, here we have, I guess, the YouTube video, right? So that's the YouTube video featuring the Augmented City from last year, Peter Meyer. And on the last page, we have the famous Mateo Man. <laughs> and all this was just created in, I don't know, one or two minutes? So blazingly fast, right? Okay, so that's the Mateo creator. <coughs>